everybody and welcome to my new LP featuring Zane Ross. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jay Simi. I my name is Kimati, but I go by Jay Simi. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What it is or what's up? Do you got your drinks? You got your snack? Do you got your food? Is you on that couch? You got your blanket? Is you in that bed? Is you ready? Cause what? Let's get into it, okay? So this new LP is featuring Zane Ross. He is our main character. This is his story. This is Zane Ross, okay? As you can see from his facial expressions, today is the day that we finally reveal our truth okay and what he means by revealing his truth is Zane has always felt a little bit different right like he's never really had a girlfriend never really had a boyfriend never really was dating anyone it was just him you know and his sister and they would just chill go to school and most of the time they would always be traveling from here to there so they never really had like genuine friends that they connected with and that is due to his dad being in the military so his dad is in the military so they do move a lot well they did move a lot but now that they're older they are finally out of high school and they got jobs and the mom has a job they don't really travel as much i think this is pretty much where they're going to be stationed and here in alaska so it's kind of been weird to keep friends after you keep moving and moving and moving especially when you're a child okay so zane today is finally coming clean and telling his truth that he is coming out to his parents. Damn! Now, Zane also knows that with him doing this with his parents and telling him this information, there's a possibility that, you know, yes, he is an adult, but he is in their house. So they're probably not going to allow him to stay here knowing that, especially his dad, because his dad, again, is a military dad. And, you know, he's probably not going for that, Buki, okay? So... He's already been doing what he needed to do to secure the bag out now. Now y'all gonna say where he get all this money from. Zane works at night after hours, baby. At the Freaky dancer. I call her ass. Strip club. At the ultra lounge, baby. And they pay him good money, okay? The people be paying good money, especially for private dances. He doesn't even really do pole dancing anymore. It's about like, we might do about three clients mostly two clients to do lap dances because that's where you get like your big money like they be dropping like 10k okay now i know y'all gonna be like well what's gonna be like he's gonna be super rich he's gonna be super dead just stay tuned for the story y'all so let's just get into meeting the family mother miss jacqueline ross um she wants to have a big happy family which I'm pretty sure we're fine with what we have. I don't see her and the dad having any children. So this is going to be as big as it's going to be. Okay. Maybe she wants it to be big. It's like for her daughter to have like kids, her son to have kids and all that good stuff. And she have a bunch of grandchildren, all that good stuff. But I don't think Miss Ross wants to have no more babies. Okay. Cause she deliver babies for her living y'all. She is an OBGYN and she delivers babies all the time at the hospital. So this is her, this is her everyday outfit. Um, let's just get into her traits. She is uh, family oriented, of course. She is a writer, she is a dreamer, she's proper, and she's also faithful. Hello, that's why they've been married like 28,000 years, Bookie, okay? And this is her everyday outfit. Like I did say, she is an OBGYN. Um, so she's kind of like, I would say they're kind of like a pretty upscale-ish because most people that's in the military that I know of, you know, they have a little bit of money, especially if, like, the wife works, too. So, like, they have money. So, these are her two everyday outfits. This is her formal everyday outfit. <laughs> baby is eating. Okay, yes. <laughs> Miss Jacqueline switches a wig, baby. Okay. This is her workout outfit, which she don't got no shoes on, but we can put some on. We're just going to put on any shoes, y'all. Any sh I will just, you know, just give her these. There we go. This is her sleepwear, party wear, swimwear. Hot weather wear and then her cold weather wear super cute and again she loves to switch her bust downs and then let's go to our dad mr sean ross he is a bodybuilder which is kind of like why he's in the military because he just loves fitness being active and serving his country so that's like perfect for him he's an overachiever he's a early bird he's handy he's also self-assured and he's ambitious which i feel like all those traits are what you would get or somebody in the military okay so this is his everyday outfit i believe yes and then he has another one which is like super dressed down because he's like that cool dad like 
you know, I'm your dad, but I'm cool, okay? Then he got the formal wear, athletic wear, and it seems like we have two athletic wears, okay? We have um, bedtime wear, party wear, we have swim, hot weather, and cold weather. And these are his outfits as well, super cute. And then we have our sister, Miss Janessa Ross. And she's kind of like, basically our twin, y'all. She is our twin, we was born the same time, so we are the same age, so this is my twin, okay? And she wants to find her soulmate. She is charming, pure, uh, she's a Gemini. She's also a dancing machine, and she's also romantic. And I feel like she looks just like her mom so much. This is her everyday outfit. Let's get into the start of the show. We have Mr. Zane Ross himself, okay? The one y'all been going crazy about, y'all. He's finally here, okay? Also looking for his soulmate as well. Um, he is talented. He's a cuddle bug. He loves cats. He's also asthmatic, and he is a part of the LGBT community, okay? This is his everyday outfit, which I think is super cute. He has a lot of outfits, y'all, because, again, they got money, and he likes to use his money. Plus, he works hard to make his money, okay? Dancing at the club is not easy, okay? Then we have formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, and we have hot weather, and then we have our cold weather period which most of the time you guys will probably see them in their cold weather because again we live in alaska so it's super cold so let's give y'all like a quick tour of the house and then we'll get into it okay guys so this is our house again we do live in alaska so there is nothing but snow and snow and trees and we do have a little basketball goal um and that's pretty much it and our dad is talking to a neighbor so hey neighbor so let me go to show you guys this house really quickly and i did leave in the comments well, I think I left it in the video on the la on the trailer where this house is from. And again, it will be on the screen here as well. So let's get on into it. So down here you have where you come in, you have like the little walk entrance way. You have a little table, all that good stuff. Over here is where you hang your coats, put your shoes and all that good stuff and change the temperature. Um, You have the kitchen, the dining room, and also the living room with this nice, huge fireplace and i love the ceilings because they have like this little like glow effect which i know i love okay um but the kitchen is super nice i think it's given like very like country modern which i love okay because shout out to d because i love me some d um of course our mom loves to shop and so does our sister so they have h&m bags chanel and sephora because again they do have money and that's just what they give okay they are that girls material girls i want your what <laughs> nah nah boots because i'll stay because i'm in the truth okay and then when you come back here you have our little laundry room area where you can do the laundry and then it leads into the parents room so this is their bedroom super cute super bright and i just like how it's not a lot but it is a lot if that makes sense like it's not overly cluttered but it's cluttered just right so this is their bedroom and then when you come over here you have their walk-in bathroom slash closet i believe so you have like your little private bathroom you have our little nice shower walk-in shower with the tub and then you have our little counters and sinks and stuff and then of course back here like i said this is supposed to be the closet but right now we just have a yoga mat in here because we're probably not going to do the closet but that's what it's giving okay and then we're gonna go upstairs so once you come upstairs you are greeted with the little workout area right here where you know our dad loves to work out once you go back in those rooms there are other rooms because in case they needed like an extra room to store things or if a child ever did come about they could also have another room to use so that's all good and dandy um and then once you come down here down the hall you have Zane's room and you also has Janessa's room. Janessa, we're gonna go in her room first just because let's do that because that's our sister girl. And she has a beautiful pink room with a carton of eggs floating because that's our sister. She loves eggs and she just be stealing them. But this is her room, super cute, super pink, super girly, and I love it. And then from here, we just have like a little Jack and Jill bathroom with our little shower, our rug our little uh, counters and sinks it's just a cute little simple bathroom and then a little um toilet over there as well and then once you come over here you have mr zane's room which is blue black kind of dark but light at the same time and it's super cute um he has a bunch of posters because of course he loves music he loves everybody he loves concerts him and his sister both love concerts so that's their favorite thing to do together and that's pretty much the house you guys um i don't think i'm missing anything 
let's just go over here one more time just so I can make sure but I believe these are just extra rooms over here yep this is just an extra room so like this could be like the mom's storage room or this actually could be like a built-in walk-in closet for them upstairs so let's just get into the episode okay okay guys and before we get into it i do want to say this episode may be a little short because this is going to be like our intro to them so there may not be a lot going on but just hopefully y'all are sticking with the storyline y'all are enjoying it and y'all keep watching okay so zane is here sitting in his room i think this is the perfect time our mom is at work so maybe i should wait to tell her like the news is having severe asthma attack zane is having an asthma attack i know you lying Pick your breathing treatment Take your medication and also take and use your inhaler. Okay, he should feel much better, child. He be scaring me <laughs> with his uh, little asthma attack. Um, dang, our sister gone too. I mean, I guess we could tell our dad. Is he still outside? Yes. Let's come talk to him right quick. Um, I was gonna say let's wait for our mom, but I feel like this is the perfect time to just like you know, um. Talk to our dad, maybe one on one, and discuss like, "Hey, dad, you know, I've been wanting to tell you something for a while. Hopefully, you don't, you know, take this the wrong way or disown me. But this is what I like, and this is what I'm trying to explore. Okay, and we just want to explore. Zane, do you want to? Don't you want to get off that computer and talk to your daddy? <laughs> he said, "I just really hate to tell him because I just don't know how he's gonna act." Uh, Zane. Like, he's really like, I think I want to talk to them later. Maybe I want to talk to mom first because she's a little easier to talk to. Because dad, you know, military parents are strict from what I've heard. Uh, my mom is a military um, child. So from what I've heard, and a lot of people that I know that are military children, their parents are pretty much strict because, you know, being in the military, they strict in there and then they just, you know, become comfortable. Now, why would y'all go in the bathroom of all places like at the toilet? Okay, so while we're talking, I don't know if you can actually, like, tell them that you're LGBT. So, we may just have to, like, play with that. Let's just do this. And then we're going to ask the daddy, like, to ask him what he identifies as. And then he'll tell him. Okay. If I ever had to tell somebody you about this, I wouldn't tell you. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Okay, well, he told his dad, but I think he was like, he doesn't enjoy that conversation. He doesn't want to talk about that right now. He'll talk about that after work. Um, so everybody is at work. We don't really have to go to work until like late at night. So we're pretty much free. Um, are we feeling like eating anything? No, we're kind of good on our, on our skills and health and stuff. So I guess he's going to go back and play on the computer. Actually, let's not watch the Titanic. Let's come over here and work out a little bit. Please. And thank you. You know, work out a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do is just come back when everybody gets home. Because I do want to. That's like my first thing I want to do is like tell them the news and like explain ourselves because we're tired of fighting also zane has already started packing a few things if you guys seen the amazon packages in the side corner we are packing up our room a little bit because like again if our family doesn't agree even if they do agree it's just time that zane he has enough money i believe let's check that right quick um, he has fifty eight thousand dollars now i know you guys again are going to say that's a lot but we do have to purchase the home the home that he is going to get it's not furnished i think it's only the kitchen the bathroom and that's it um so we're gonna need furniture and stuff and of course other expenses that come along with that because we do have to turn on like our wi-fi our tv internet all that good stuff back we got to turn all that on so that won't be a lot of money once we put it all in our household so it's not a lot and again he does get paid a lot at the strip club which i have no control over so please bear with me sisters okay so he's gonna work out like i said and we're just gonna come back once the parents get home or our sister at least because we would like to talk to her first and i'll see y'all guys then okay well since our sister's right here let's just go ahead and tell her actually let's have her ask like hey brother you know i've been noticing like you've been wearing a little bit of 
different outfits and stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to see like, you know, how you're doing. Can I not ask, can she not ask him the LGBT questions? Okay, here we go. And ask to identify. Okay, and she's like, I've just been noticing different things. Like your nails are a lot shinier. Like, are you thinking about the other gender? If I ever had something to tell you about this, I'd tell you when I'm ready. Okay. Well, today is the time to be ready. Oh my god. Today is the day, they Please. Reveal deep secret. Okay. We're gonna tell her. Come on, let's tell her. Come on, mama. Girl, where y'all going? Okay, he's telling his secret. He's like, well... You're right, I do like guys now and I want to be in touch for She's like, well, I totally support you, brother. Whatever you need, I'm here to support you. How do you think mom's going to take it? I don't know. I'm about to have that conversation with her now. Okay, well, I'll sit here if you need me. Yes, sister, please. Okay, so he's telling his mother, y'all. Oh, she doesn't look too excited about it. Uh-oh. Zane said, well, mom, I just wanted to be honest with you. I'm tired of living a lie and I'm tired of covering it up. And I just want to be honest with you and my sister. And I'm going to tell dad again once he gets home. But he said he didn't want to hear it. He's just like, I love you, brother, no matter what. I don't care who you love. I love you because you're my brother. You're my twin. And that's that. I love you, too. And she's like, I just don't understand you saying, like, we had so many hopes for you, like, to have kids. And I want to be a grandmother. He was like, well, you still can be. I just won't be having kids with a woman. It's just not the same. I think you shouldn't even talk to your father about this. I actually think you really should just get your things and just leave our house. And we just give us time to process it. I'm just going to tell your dad myself. Or maybe you should just call him or something. But he's not going to take this well at all. And how do you think his military friends and people are going to think? Mom, it's not that serious. He just wanted to come and be honest with you guys. Would you rather him lie? Would you? Like, you always tell us to come to you guys and tell you. Exactly, Mom. Like, I'm just trying to tell you my feelings and tell you, like, my lifestyle. And just see if you're going to accept me the way I am. And I know you always notice that I've kind of been a little different. She's just like, I know, but Zane, Janessa, it's just too much right now. Please. I'll, I'll just have to talk to your father about this. Please. Take us a little smoke because it always just helps relieve your nerves. Zane's just like, I can't believe I just told my mother this and she just I didn't care. Maybe we should actually send our dad a text at work and be like, you know what, dad? I told mom, I know you didn't want to hear it um, when I was trying to tell you at home. But what I can go ahead and do is tell you through a text message and give you time, you and mom time to process it. And I just won't be home when you guys get there. So let's send him a text message. Basically saying what we told our mom that you know we are coming out the closet i am a man who loves men and that's that parents and i'll just get out of here if that's what i need to do janessa do you want to come upstairs and check on your brother like can you come and like give him a hug give him a hug because he could use one i think and then can we also give him just express your admiration for him because it's your brother. Can you get up? You and mom just still down here talking. She is really upset. Should I be more lenient? You should. You shouldn't be so cruel to your kids, ma'am. Is she going to come give him a hug? Please, Janessa, please go hug your brother. Girl. They just want to have a conversation. They just want to keep talking about it. We don't want to talk about it no more. Just give me, just ex uh, explain your admiration for him. And also give him a hug. Okay, give him a hug. Yeah. Oh, is she upset too now? Boring discussions. Okay. So oh, she's like, brother, I just love you. And she's still back there mad and talking. Baby, please. Please let it go, mother. Please. And she's just like, he's like, I'm about to leave, y'all. I'm moving out. I have money saved. And your mom's like, where did you get money from? 
don't worry about it. I'll just talk to you guys later when you guys want to have a conversation. So, I'm just going to leave because I did find a place and I'm just going. So, you guys, what we're going to do is to go ahead and go to Zane's new place. I am going to take a few things of him that, a few things of his with us if I can. And we will, we're just going to give them space to think about it. Now, I know this is super early, y'all, but... It, it just is what it is. We just have to go because they don't seem... She doesn't seem very happy. Our sister is happy. Our dad didn't seem happy. So, it's just time for us to, you know, let them breathe, cool off. And also, it's time for us just to get our own place and we can just do what we want to do. So, let me see y'all when we get to the new place. Hey, guys. So, Zane has moved out. And I have really been waiting on this moment forever, y'all. And I know y'all have too because y'all been driving me buckles about this place but we have moved y'all and i just love first of all let's just get into what you can see like at this home like when you step outside this is all you see is like water you see like the little lands you see volcanoes you have a pond where you can even fish and we can even also earn extra money or we can earn some dinner okay either one is a good plus in my book okay and you just have like this beautiful scenery from your house child I love it and Zane I think it's gonna love it here too um I believe after I just left y'all I said we had $58,000 once I bought the place I don't remember how much you said it was but we only have $15,000 left like I told you guys not a lot of money and we still got to buy groceries a bed all that good stuff because we don't want our bed we don't want any of that stuff we just have to get new things we only kept like a few things in our inventory that we could bring but other than that y'all we are starting out fresh okay now let's get into zane's place y'all and the property owner also left all these nice decorations for him he said he just didn't feel like taking them down and he could do with them as he wanted like he could keep them throw them away whichever one he wanted to do okay so this so you guys this is zane's home this is a modern luxury loft home it is a one bedroom of course um it has one bathroom a kitchen well a full kitchen and all the good stuff and it's so cute and again the owner did say that we could keep all of the decorations or we could you know throw them away whatever he wanted us to do but he just did not feel like taking it down him and his wife so we could do whatever we wanted to do now i want to give you guys a quick tour of the inside of the house and i go in and once you're in you have like this is again like our living room area it's very open and spacious in my opinion for one person um and then you have our little kitchen over here which i guess it's not really a little kitchen this is a big kitchen it's a full kitchen it's super nice and it has like these little shelves where we could put like our dishes or maybe we could put like some um what do you call it like sculptures or statues or something in there any of that could be cute and then over here you have like our walk-in area of course where we have our little thermostat our window and our door so that's super cute as well we have these nice lights that change different colors i think they're blue and pink but i believe you can do other colors so i love that um here i think is where we're gonna mount the tv or maybe we should mount it here um on the wall because I think it would be super cute. And so then when you go upstairs, you are greeted with the bedroom. Of course, like I said, it doesn't really have to be like a bedroom if you didn't want it to be like, you could have like a sofa couch or like a pullout couch up here, but it still would be kind of like your bedroom part. Over here in this area will probably be like our little like, like our little like maybe workout area or it could be um, your little study area. One of those would be fine with me. Girl, not be glitching. Okay. And then over here, you have the bathroom. You have a shower, a toilet, a sink, a pretty decent, um, I think it's a pretty decent sized bathroom. We're only supposed to have one sink. I think I need to, ooh, okay. Now you have the bathroom and you have like this little like built in area where you can put like your little storage, our body washes, um, toilet tissue, any of that good thing. And you have a little walk in shower, which I love. And I just think this is a super cute starter home. It's not like, too like cheap it's not too fancy it's just right just enough space so let's have zane come on and explore his house he did find this online so he actually hasn't came and seen it till today to make it to pay his money so let's go ahead and see what it's giving zane you want to go in here oh we can hear boats i don't know if y'all heard that y'all but if y'all did let me know in the comments if y'all heard the boat so hopefully he likes the place again we do have to get a bed and all that good stuff um i do want to go ahead is having a severe asthma attack 
Baby, why are you why do you keep having asthma attacks back to back? You just took the anti-inflammatory uh didn't I say inflammatory? Anti-inflammatory medication, yeah, and then use your girl, he's so stressed out, he don't know what to do. I guess the pressure of everything is getting to him today. Okay, I understand. I understand. So we are here. I think what I want to do is call the um show bill options. Oh no. Here we go. I want to go to the Sims Link customer service because I think we do need to go ahead and get our services activated. Go ahead and schedule that. So we can have Wi-Fi, y'all, and we can have TV. What else comes with the package? Internet, TV, and mate. Hey, that's it, right? It's been so long since I used the Sim Link thing, so I really wanted to try it because I love it for the realism, like. Cause you actually have to wait on an appointment. You have to wait for your technician. So today is Tuesday. I'm assuming this is for tomorrow. So we'll just do early morning at 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, let's see. Your appointment has been added to your calendar. Please be sure to, please be sure at least a teen or an old, uh, elder is at the residence to assist the technician and it's supposed to be on our calendar so today is what tuesday um okay do say it so they're gonna come tomorrow y'all so in the next episode is probably when we will have our internet and everything hooked up and ready to go um again say who you calling manage add-ons what you want to add on now we ain't even got no services yet oh Okay, we can do music, music, TV, and movie channels. Right, we want all of them. So, okay, not him knowing no more than I know. Zane, please. He coming out here to look at the decorations. Are you calling him again? <laughs> Connecting with customer service. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Thank you so much for your help today. Zane, do you want to come out here and look at the, um, like maybe we can fish. Just something cute real quick, y'all, because the scenery here is eating. It's everything. And more. Like, y'all, look at this every morning. And we can... I wish we could just sit out here on the bay. I wish they would put, like, an option where you can just sit. And there's a lot of fish out here. It's a blue one, a green one. Ooh, baby, a ugly one. <laughs> okay. Like, y'all, look. Just look at it. Look how the sun is eating him up. This is love. I love it. Let's see if we catch a little fish. And then if we do, it is 6.55. So maybe like 7.30 we'll go to the strip club, which is kind of early. But I do want to go ahead and go there just so I can like show you guys like the strip club and what he actually does. And show y'all how much money we make from like maybe one lap dance if we can get one. Because they're hard to get sometimes. <laughs> and I do apologize in advance if we do get to the strip club and it starts to lag. I don't know why, but all the time in my game when I go to strip clubs, it just seems to lag. So, just bear with that, okay? We caught a Tetra, and it's worth $10, okay? Ooh, now I'm getting a level two and fishing already, period. So what I'm gonna have Zane do is go ahead and go to work. Zane has to wear to work right now. I would say the strip club he works at, you guys, is kinda like a, kinda like, kinda a hole in the wall club, but not really like, it's nice in here, but it's not like an extravagant, like club if you have me if that makes sense so this is what he wears as a man well a male stripper and then our i think these are the janitors they wear like a tuxedo and they wear white and then the girl dancers they wear like these pink cute lingerie um tops with little like i guess thongs underneath and then their little high heels which is super cute and again this build is from alexis ariel i believe this is her um onyx club Yes, and it's on her Patreon, and I believe it's free for you guys to get if you guys like it as well. I think all I did was change, like, the wallpaper and add a few things. Other than that, it's good. But you have an office up here. You have, like, the VIP, like, dancer spots up here where you can get lap dancers. You have a bathroom. You also have pole dances up here where they can pole dance the ladies or the men. And then down here, you just have, like, again, the regular strip club. Another place right here where you can give lap dances. The bar area the girls room slash guys room and also a bathroom as well you have like the little um bouncers and person who takes your money to get into the entries and all that good stuff and then you have people up here where they can sit and you know just enjoy the show kind of like a vip type section where like 
the ballers are okay they just be sitting here looking at what they want and then they come out here and sick them okay so we're gonna go ahead and go here um go ahead and go inside um there's no one here yet so we're just gonna wait for everybody to get on in here and people to start populating and then we can start asking somebody for like a little lap dance and i'm gonna show y'all like how much money we can make oh actually you know what here's one of our clients that's been coming he is a music person i believe he's like a music producer or a music something he works at like a studio y'all so you know he got a little bit of money and um he's been coming to us very often for a little dance so let's just be friendly and affection and then maybe like give him a hug and then maybe offer him a dance <laughs> before hopefully he's not leaving because he be kind of he be throwing a little bit of money he do he do he be throwing a little bit of money y'all he do so i like that so let's see i think we may can't ask him because i believe he's leaving yep he left so never mind <laughs> Okay, is anybody here that can that want? I was gonna say him, but that's the janitor man. Okay, oh, one of my new Sims is here. I just put in a hey, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson is so handsome, y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. And y'all leave in the comments what y'all think. Did I eat him up or away? <laughs> did I did I kind of chew him up Damn! or no? Oh, okay, I'll wait. Okay, ooh. We might can get this local, like the little local speech. They they like they like to get a little dance. Oh, is he coming to talk to us? Okay, he is. Sorry y'all for the pausing, but I just wanted to make sure that I can click on him. Cause y'all know Sims be moving so fast. Greet the client. Okay, and then we can offer him a drink because that's also more money for us if you offer them drinks. Ooh. Marcel is here. Where are you going outside? Hello? No, don't go talk to him. Talk to this man. He looks young and probably like he got a little bit of money. Okay, so we can do sweet talk. And then hopefully we can ask him for a dance. But they do be turning us down, y'all. They do. Charming. And then offer a private dance. Oh, did he already ask for a dance? I don't know why they go outside, y'all, to go to the little area over there where they sit. But every time I play test, that's where they go, so... We just gonna let it flow, y'all. Like I said, the Sims tell us what to do. We don't tell them what to do. They tell us. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna see. Y'all leave in the comments right quick before he gets the lap dance. Like, how much money do you actually think we're gonna get from this one dance? And if y'all right, you just gonna be right, movie. Okay, so I have to keep the camera up like this, you guys, because I have to watch and see when, like, these dots come up. Yeah, we can end movie premiere day. That's fine like these because that's just supposed to get you to be like a better like i guess dancer for them and it gives you more money if you get to click them at the right time so most of the time i have the walls down to see them so please y'all please not too much i know y'all want to see but see it be getting hit behind here and also y'all i don't think in every episode y'all gonna see us at the club and sometimes in every episode we won't go to the club and make money because zane is still trying to figure out like what he wants for his his actual job like this is just something he did to like get him some money get him a place because he knew this was going to be quick money his friends here also told him that it's super quick so that's why we work here but i don't think this is going to be like our permanent job and just because if you make too much money y'all and i just don't like that like i wish i could like if he made like five thousand i could like break it down and give him like five hundred dollars and then the other half would be like for another part or something like that like we could split it between the dancers that would be cute or if y'all know a mod just like that let me know let your boy know a little something something okay see we clicking the thing y'all got y'all numbers down there in the comments let's see who's right because i actually want to see if anybody gets it right i'm gonna say we'll make uh, maybe 7k okay that's my guess y'all 7k oh okay they get a little free yeah so again, that's probably why we won't see a lot of the strip scenes on YouTube because I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, y'all. So we will be at the club sometime. I may do like um, some like cinematics so y'all can like see it that way, but we won't do like a full play day here, like full shift, I should say. 
Okay, not you picking him up. Okay, you better pay us a bunch of money. What did I say? 7K, baby. Give us 20. At this point, baby, because you all up on me. Ooh. He all up on him, child. He said, you got to work for this money. Oh, my God, y'all. See, he gave us 11,770. That quick, we already got 20. Ooh, we got $27,250. Y'all, please. And now he done got sleepy. He was like, that was a long dance. I'm sleepy. I'm trying to think, should we get somebody else? <laughs> like, maybe one more person? Who y'all think? Anybody look good out in the crowd? Maybe we should try Marcel. He's a drinker. Cop, greet the client. And then we can offer him a drink. And there's strip club, period. Offer him a drink. So he throwing money on my girls. Look at them. They over here doing all good and stuff. Oop, he throwing money back here. Did you throw money at us? Okay, I, we, oop. Yes, make it rain. Okay, down in the valley. Where the girls get naked. Don't change your mind. This gonna be the best dance of your life. I'm about to, now he's coming in here to watch. He's like, hmm, maybe I should get a dance. Maybe I should pay for one. You should. Yeah, ooh. I mean, I wish you would get out of here. This is private VIP only. And y'all orange lemon pepper steppers. Okay, here we go. Let's click our dots. All right. Okay, Zane like picking up people. Okay. Zane said, this is my money maker right here. This is the one that make me get that, that, yeah. On top. <laughs> you better spread him like an eagle, Booker. You gotta work for this money. You better work this money. Work, work this money. Work, work this Oh, okay. And also, I do want to tell you guys, thank you so much for the love in my new LP. Um, I really do really, really appreciate it. Okay? It is so much that I wanna like explore and do y'all and like take my time this time. So I just hope you guys love it. Girl, now we sleepy. Can we just get us a little booze? Let's say we took us a little Red Bull shot. Okay, cause I don't wanna be sleepy right now. We don't wanna be too lazy on our dance. Yes. Can you get out? Can we tell him to go away? Can you get on out of here? Cause this is private, sir. This is a private environment. Go ahead and get that. Y'all, how much y'all think Marcel gonna pay us? We just got 11, so I'm gonna say maybe 10,000. 10,000. And we got $27,000. Come on. This is gonna help us buy our TV, y'all, and our bed. <laughs> and a couch. Okay. And, and, and our stuff. And I do gotta put our computer up because we did bring that from home. So our computer, all we need is a bed, so a couch. A new desk. <gasps> okay, well, we got 11000 the same thing. So, we got $39,000, y'all. Okay. Yes. Rotate with it. Rotate with it. Ro ro rotate with it. Rotate with it. <laughs> okay, rotate with it, books. You better rotate. You better rotate. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go house shopping. Well, not house shopping, but house furniture shopping, you guys. We're also going to hopefully get our cable and stuff installed. So, fingers crossed for that. And we're going to be just in our own environment. And hopefully, we may hear from my parents. Like, maybe our mom will call, our dad will call. Or maybe we'll just write a really good letter to them or a text message thread. And send it to them and just kind of express our feelings and... Hopefully, they'll hear us out. And maybe we'll see our sister in the next episode. Invite her for a sleepover if we got enough furniture. But I hope you guys are enjoying. And I hope you guys are super excited for the next L episode. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love that you guys always show me. Thank you for the likes, the love. Even for the ones who don't ever comment and just come and show up every time. Like I say all the time, I really do appreciate you guys. Because y'all could watch anybody. Y'all could be anywhere. But y'all always come back and watch me. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for almost being at 900 subscribers subscribers y'all i cannot believe we almost there but we almost there we almost there it's been a long run but we almost there also you guys don't forget to leave me a comment down below like the video and if you haven't already subscribe and become a part of the sydney gang because baby it's always lit over here we have fun it's very crazy chaotic and everything in between baby and it's just that okay but i will see you guys in the next lp 
stay blessed, stay amazing, and stay having fun and being amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, Timmy Gang!